and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you the new addition to the Lancia Leisure range. This is the brand new long wheelbase Ford camper van from Lancia Leisure. This model comes with the 130 automatic transmission, alloy wheels, rear view camera and it's the Ford Transit Custom Limited model which was at the customer's own request. We do opt for the custom combi model due to the Ford factory windows, a nicer interior trim including side and rear step trims, a functional rear windscreen wiper, none of which the Limited has. With our Ford Transit Custom Combi models you will get alloy wheels, tailgate model, privacy windows, front air conditioning and front heated seats and electronically controlled side mirrors all as standard. We also supply a 100 watt solar panel as standard but we do have an upgrade package available if desired. Our other options include gas barbecue points, gas law system, tow bars, memory foam mattress toppers, thermal cab screens, immobilizers and trackers for added security and many more. Pricing starts at 54895 including VAT and on the road for our short wheelbase models but please see our website for our current pricing on our engine variants and on a wide array of options. Right, let's get into the full tour. Uh, this is the brand new Lancia Leisure Ford Transit Custom conversion based on the long wheelbase model. Uh, as you can see, this is in a beautiful carmine red colour, beautiful metallic colour, uh, colour coded bumpers, uh, all the trims, um, wing mirrors, as you can see. Uh, going down at the front here, we've got the uh, front sensors, fog lights, uh, really nice grill on there. These wheels that are on this one, uh, they're an aftermarket wheel, uh, they're not standard from us, they're not a standard Ford part, but the customer has requested these. But well, to be honest with you, I really do like how this, uh, it makes the vehicle sit really nice and sporty looking. Uh, so moving backwards, we've got glazed windows all the way around, we've got opening ones at the front as well. Just at the bottom there we've got the, uh, the slide out step, easy access into the habitational area. Uh, up at the top here we've got the uh, the Thule uh, Omnistore awning uh, and on top there we have the SCA elevating roof which to be honest with you in my opinion is probably one of the best elevating roofs uh, you can get uh, fully crash tested and proved uh, the lot you've got to be very careful uh, when you're buying something like that always make sure you've got the uh, the approved stuff on the uh, on your conversions uh, around the back there we've got the glazed windows coming around this side as well We've got the hook up point down there. Again, another opening window over the kitchen side. And then underneath here, which you can't really see, we've got the water tanks and drain off points front and back. And there's fresh and waste water tanks on there. And that's the, uh, the exhaust from the heater. So I'll just come around and give you a better look at the vehicle as well. What we'll do, we'll head into the cab area. Yeah, let's have another look. Okay, so as you can see, plenty of storage pockets there in the door cards. Moving on to the seats, um, these are probably one of my favourite. Um, the stitching on this with the leather and the red and the black, it just it really is nice. I really do like this. The same on there, we've got the same in the back as well, I'll show you in a second. Um, but uh, Looking at what we've got here, we've got leather steering wheel, all the controls, cruise control, uh, Bluetooth connectivity with your phone, I think. Uh, this one uh, being automatic transmission, which is uh, one of the options available. Um, big touchscreen uh, screen there in the centre. We've got air conditioning. Um, heated seats as well is an option from us on this one. But yes, uh, very car like to drive. Um, really nice drive, in fact. Uh, plenty of power, um, really nice, soft. Uh, driving position as well. Okay, let's have a look at the conversion. So as soon as you open the door, you are met with a beautiful gloss furniture. Uh, as again, the oak worktops really do complement everything in the in the vehicle. 
um, really do stand out, really nice. Uh, this being the long wheelbase model, uh, you've got extra storage in this one as well. There's a lot more room, a bit more spacious. So, uh, like I said, from the beginning, uh, we've got the slide out step there, that retracts when the ignition comes on as well. Um, here, we've got the extra table. There's two tables in these conversions. There's the uh, the one for, for the front, for the cap seat area, and there's another one uh, which is, is movable. It's on a tripod base, so you can have it inside or outside. So let's just get a look at these, uh, these cab seats turn round on swivels. Again, stitching is one of my favourites. Um, and we'll just turn round to the back as well. We've got matching stitching on them ones as well. Look really, really, really nice. So, uh, like I said, we have got a lot more storage in this one. I'll take you through what we've got. So at the top here, we've got, uh, usually on the short wheelbase we have, we have two doors of the lockers. We've got an extra third one on this one. So again, We've got storage straight through on these ones, all the way through. Uh, underneath here, uh, there's two little um, shelving areas, two bit more storage area as well. On that point there, we have the, the heater control. That's the Webasto blown air heating system, that's standard. There is the upgrade of uh, going to the hot water system as well, it's one of the options what we've got as well. Um, usual control panels on here, um, pump, lights, awning lights, battery levels, uh, water levels, dimmer switch on here, extra switches for for the individual lights. This customer uh, asked for extra sockets, so we've got a couple of extra USB sockets and a couple of extra 240 sockets as well. Look in here. We have got the combination hob and sink. This point here, we have got storage. We'll pull out drawer as well. We've got the isotherm uh, compressor fridge. And this here, big storage compartment here. There is the option of going for a grill. That's where the grill would go if you did uh, decide to go down that route. We've got a drawer there. And down at the bottom here, this is the storage area for your porta potter. So that's where that lives. Moving along, another deep cupboard space. One more. Again, another deep cupboard space. There's plenty of storage in this vehicle. A bit more storage in there, some of your isolation taps as well for the gas. And then there is another big cupboard here. Pull this one back. So you've got a very deep, deep drawer in this one. And then there's a secondary drawer that pulls out with that as well. So for the kitchen side of it, there's ample storage. Absolutely loads of storage in this one. Uh, going towards the back, uh, we've got some more lockers. And they go quite deep as well. And then just at the side here, we've got the wardrobe area. So you've got the hanging rail there. Um, and then we've got the, the electric side, the start of the electric side of things. Uh, we've got the 240 consumer and the 12 volt system part down there and your charger as well. We, uh, we also fit uh, lights to these as well, so when you open the door, the light comes on. Uh, what we'll do, I will move the seat forward and I'll show you what's at the back. Okay, let's have a look. So I've undone the, uh, the catches at the front, so that just pushes really easily going forwards. I'm actually just doing that with one hand as well. Uh, we've got the table on the back of the seat on this one, and we've got the, uh, the awning winder there at the back there for, for storage for that. So, uh, coming back, we have got a bit more storage at the back here. So again, uh, nice big storage compartment there. Underneath that, we've got the gas compartment which is fully aluminium lined and sealed with the proper regulators as well. Saddle clamps and dropout vents, as it should be. And then down here, we've got the leisure battery. We've also got the, the CTEC uh, unit there, which controls the solar charge and um, the power from the alternator as well. There is an upgrade on this battery as well. Uh, you can go to a lithium Bluetooth connectivity, I believe it is. Um, I'll try and get a picture of that if I can for you, um, which is another upgrade, which is great actually. The app is fantastic on that one, tells you how much is going in and going out. And you can really keep a good track on your, your usage as well. Um, just at the side here, we've got another storage pocket. This is a cushion on top, which makes part of the bed up, but there is storage down there as well. 
don't know if you can see that or not. And the customer has requested an extra 240 socket, which you can see just at the back there. So there are many options available. Um, and a lot of them are on the website and some of the other standard features are on there as well. So it's well worth a look if you're very interested in this type of thing. Okay, so back in the conversion now. Uh, some of the things I haven't showed you is uh, the, the blinds. These are they're fitted all the way around uh, the back half of the conversion. Um, we This one has got the manual blinds, which you can see is very easy to use. No fuss whatsoever with that. Um, totally blackout as well, so you can't see see through. Uh, we have got the option of the electric blinds, um, which is a nice addition. Uh, it's a case of just a, a flick of a button and they all come down together. It's a really nice feature. Um, just at the bottom base of the bed, uh, there is some more storage. There's a pull-out drawer there at the, uh, at the front, which uh, is again is another quite big deep drawer, so plenty of storage. And as this falls forward, there's two extra storage pockets which just, just sit behind these, these panels here. Uh, so there's more storage underneath the bed as well. Uh, just moving towards the cab seats again, there's some storage underneath there as well. So we've got the, uh, the switch for the the slide out step, we've got the heater, and then we've got some more storage in there as well. Move across, there's another big storage pocket there as well. So, for a vehicle of this size, um, there's a hell of a lot of storage in this, as you can see, with all the doors on the, uh, the kitchen. So the bed system wise, uh, this does pull out uh, to make a double bed, which you've, you've probably seen on a previous video, uh, but we've also got uh, a roof bed as well. So I move back and pull this down. All right, the lights, there we go. So we've got stalks at the front here for lighting up here. Um, this, as you can see, is uh, sprung, uh, like a sprung mattress type thing. We've got a, a mattress on top. This is really comfort and really strong too. This will take two adults, no problem. Uh, and the actual height at the back there is really high as well. So there's plenty of room up here, whether it's children or adults sleeping up here, that's no problem whatsoever. So the vehicle and the conversion are both covered by a three year warranty, both the roof and the bed system are fully crash tested and fully approved and they also come with your logbook saying motor caravan. So everything is approved for your own peace of mind. I hope you've enjoyed the video, uh, please leave a comment and a like on the video as well and if you've got any questions or comments leave them in the comment section, alternatively I will provide an email in the comment section as well. Many thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.